Hello guys and welcome to BCG Health. Today we'll be talking about fatty liver disease. A few decades ago, people were healthy and always took care of their health to live a long and disease-free life. But unfortunately, times have changed, eating and sleeping patterns have changed, an unhealthy lifestyle was adopted everywhere and due to this negligence, diseases started to become the new normal. One of the new diseases that are surrounding us for some time now is a fatty liver. In this video, we are going to tell you why the liver is an important organ, the causes of fatty liver, the prevention and a lot of necessary information. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Let's know what are the functions of a liver. To live a healthy and long life, the liver plays a very important role. Its main functions are, it produces bile that lets the body digest food. The liver makes proteins for the body. It stores iron and makes it easy for the body to digest iron. The liver converts nutrients into energy. The liver is the reason your blood clots and heals you after wounds. The liver helps you resist infections by strengthening the immune system and removing bacteria and toxins from your blood. When fat builds up in the liver, it becomes fat liver, also known as hepatic steatosis. Though having a small amount of fat in your liver is normal, too much fat can become a cause of many diseases. Healthy liver contains small amount of fat, whereas problem arise when fat reaches 5 to 10 percent of your liver's weight. What is fatty liver? As we have discussed, the function of liver is to help process nutrients from food and drinks, and it cleanses your blood of harmful substances. But when the liver has too much fat, it can damage your liver and creates scarring which hurts badly and causes several diseases. Moreover, in severe cases, this scarring can lead to liver failure. The Forms of Fatty Liver Disease There are two main forms of fatty liver disease. Alcoholic liver disease Alcoholic fatty liver happens when someone drinks a lot of alcohol. Due to excessive alcohol, the fatty liver starts accumulation of fat in the liver. According to research, about 5% people in the US have this form of liver disease, which is very dangerous. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease occurs in people who aren't heavy drinkers, but they have other health problems that lead to NFLD. This condition affects 1 in 3 adults and 1 in 10 children in the United States. Factors such as obesity and diabetes can increase your risk of NFLD. If you have excess fat in your liver and no history of heavy alcohol use, your doctor may diagnose you with NAFLD. Moreover, if there is no accumulation or other complications along with the buildup of fat, the condition is known as simple non-alcoholic fatty liver. According to research, NAFLD affects up to 25-30% to of people in the United States and Europe. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH is a type of NAFLD which occurs when a buildup of excessive fat in the liver is accompanied by liver inflammation. The patient becomes serious and faces pain in the upper abdomen. If you have excess fat in your liver, your liver is inflamed and you have no history of heavy alcohol use, your doctor may diagnose you with NASH. Treatment of NASH is very important as if left untreated, can cause scarring of your liver. In severe cases, this can lead to cirrhosis and liver failure. Acute Fatty Liver of Pregnancy AFLP. Acute Fatty Liver of Pregnancy AFLP is a rare but serious complication of pregnancy. 
EFLP is usually develops in the third trimester of pregnancy. In case if it is left untreated, it poses serious health risk to the mother and growing baby. A woman who is diagnosed with AFLP is always suggested to deliver the baby as soon as possible to avoid any complications. Follow-up care for several days is given even after birth as well. Doctors ensure that women's liver health returns to normal within a few weeks of giving birth. Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease ALFT. Drinking a lot of alcohol damages the liver, due to which the liver cannot break down fats properly. Thus, it builds up fat, which is also known as alcoholic fatty liver. Alcoholic fatty liver disease ALFT, is the earliest stage of alcohol-related liver disease. If there is no inflammation along with the buildup of fat, the condition is known as simple alcoholic fatty liver. Alcoholic steatohepatitis or ASH Alcoholic steatohepatitis is a type of AFLD. It happens when a buildup of excess fat in the liver is accompanied by liver inflammation. This is also known as alcoholic hepatitis. This is a very dangerous form of fatty liver. No one should take it lightly. So, if you have excess fat in your liver, your liver is inflamed, and you drink a lot of alcohol, your doctor may diagnose with ASH. In case ASH is not treated timely, it can cause scarring of your liver and causes cirrhosis that can lead to liver failure. To treat an alcoholic fatty liver, it's important to avoid alcohol. If you have alcoholism or alcohol use disorder, your doctor may recommend counseling or other treatments. Why is fatty liver disease dangerous? In many cases, the fatty liver doesn't cause any serious problems or prevent your liver from functioning normally. But still, some unfortunate people may fall prey to it and according to research, 7% to 30% of people with the condition, fatty liver gets worse over time. It progresses through three stages. In the first stage, your liver becomes swollen, thus damaging its tissues. This stage is called steatohepatitis. In another condition, scar tissue forms where your liver is damaged. This process is called liver fibrosis. The third and most serious stage is where extensive scar tissue replaces healthy tissue. At this point, you have cirrhosis of the liver. Cirrhosis is a life-threatening situation, so always try to get treatment before this stage and adopt a healthy lifestyle. Symptoms of fatty liver In many cases, fatty liver causes no noticeable symptoms. But if you feel tired more than normal or experience continuous pain in the upper right side of your abdomen, it can be due to the fatty liver. People who have more fat in their liver can develop diseases such as liver scarring, which is also known as liver fibrosis. The severe case of fibrosis is known as cirrhosis. The symptoms of cirrhosis are loss of appetite, weight loss, weakness, fatigue, nosebleeds, itchy skin, yellow skin and eyes, web-like clusters of blood vessels under your skin, abdominal pain, abdominal swelling, swelling of your legs, breast enlargement in men, and confusion. If you feel any of these symptoms occurring, get yourself checked with the doctor immediately. Cirrhosis of the liver Cirrhosis of the liver is a result of severe damage to the liver. The heart scar tissue, when replacing healthy liver tissues, slow down the liver functioning and cause cirrhosis. But with time, it stops liver function permanently, which leads to the liver failure and liver cancer. Who gets fatty liver disease? You have a greater chances of developing the fatty liver disease if you are Hispanic or Asian, 
as the diet pattern of these people are mainly fats. Sometimes it occurs in postmenopausal women whose periods have stopped. People with obesity, especially those who have a high level of belly fat. Patients with high blood pressure, diabetes or high cholesterol. And lastly, for those who have obstructive sleep apnea. Apnea is a blocked airway that causes breathing to stop and start during sleep. It slows the oxygen flow in the liver and results in fatty liver. Some people get the fatty liver disease without having any pre-existing conditions. But these risk factors make you more likely to develop if you are having type 2 diabetes or insulin resistance, having metabolic syndrome. In simple words, people who are insulin resistant have high blood pressure, high cholesterol and high triglyceride levels. So, these can be the possible causes of fatty liver diseases. But it is not where the problem ends. Fatty liver disease has many types and most of the time, it is difficult to understand which type of fatty liver disease you have. So instead of self-diagnosis, you need to visit your doctor if you feel any of these symptoms. Prevention To prevent fatty liver and lifelong painful disease, it's important to follow a healthy lifestyle. Limit or avoid alcohol. Never let your weight increase more than a limit and always maintain a healthy weight. Eat a nutrient-rich diet that is low in saturated fats, trans fats and refined carbs. Take steps to control your blood sugar, triglyceride levels and cholesterol levels. Follow your doctor's recommended treatment plan for diabetes if you have it. Aim for at least 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week. Treatment Now if you follow these life-saving supplements, you will make your liver's health better quickly. These supplements have been known to be a game-changer for the liver. Liver supplements for better liver health work by detoxifying the liver and kidneys, promoting overall liver health, optimizing liver functions, protecting liver cells from inflammation, promoting the production of bile, increasing metabolism and promote weight loss. Now let's take a look at all these magical ingredients that help the supplements reverse liver health. Milk thistle Milk thistle also known as silymarin is the most common and efficient herbal supplement for the liver problems in the US. Milk thistle extract contains approximately 50% silibinin, which is the active ingredient in silimarin. Silibinin acts as an antioxidant, neutralizing free radicals that contribute to inflammation. Research done in a 2013 study found that 7 grams per day of epicline, a food supplement containing silimarin, vitamin E and amino acids makes a huge impact and decreases the level of enzymes that doctors associate with the liver damage. Another research found that 420 mg of silymarin taken daily for 4 weeks reduced the risk of drug-induced liver injury by 28% in people taking anti-tuberculosis medications. Listin supplement Moreover, a natural product called DLPC, diuryl phosphatidylcholine, increases insulin sensitivity and reduces fat liver in mice. Thus, researchers believe that it may provide a treatment for liver degeneration. DLPC is an unusual phospholipid and a trace component of dietary supplement lestin. According to the research, lestin or LRH1 regulates the production of bile acids in the liver. This end result decreases the fat around the liver and regenerates the damaged liver cells. Zinc Zinc is an important element that promotes cell division, DNA synthesis and immune function. Chronic liver disease can lead to zinc deficiency. Including zinc supplements in your diet 
can help protect the liver from oxidative stress due to the vitamin C viral infections. Licorice Root Licorice root contains an active component called glycodisic acid, which reduces inflammation in the liver and regenerates damaged liver cells. A higher proportion of individuals in the glycodicin groups showed significant reductions in symptoms of damaged liver cells. Limit saturated fat intake Another reason for the fat deposits around the liver is high level of triglycerides and cholesterol in the blood. It ultimately leads to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or NAFLD and long-term liver damage. Whereas, by reducing the consumption of alcohol, a person can reverse the effects of steatosis. However, continuous binge drinking can lead to chronic steatosis and chronic liver disease. Research thus has limited the consumption of alcohol to one drink per day for females and no more than two drinks per day for males. Minimize exposure to toxins the liver breaks down toxic substances in the blood. Exposure to environmental toxins such as cleaning products, pesticides and tobacco smoke can damage the liver as it filters these substances from the blood. Thus try and avoid any places where you can get in direct contact with these toxins. Smokers should leave smoke to avoid more damage to liver. Avoid chronic drug use. The liver metabolizes medications and drugs in the blood. Illicit drugs such as heroin and cocaine can lead to liver inflammation and damage. Prescription and over-the-counter oct medicine can also contribute to drug-induced liver injury. Therefore, never take oct medication too often. In case of serious and lingering issues, consult your doctor. According to FDA, Medicines that can contribute to liver damage include antibiotics such as amoxicillin and erythromycin, acetaminophen, which is an octopain and fever reducer, cancer drugs such as macaptopurin, labetinib, and pasoponib, anti anxiety and antidepressant medications, including duloxetine and nortriptyline immunosuppressants including cyclosporin and methotrexate. In the end, all I would like to say is, health is wealth, so never compromise on your health. Make sure you're eating healthy. Keep yourself away from all the foods, drugs and medicines that can be dangerous to your liver. That's all for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share, comment, and also click the bell icon.